How's it going everybody? Got another axe video for you guys today. Got myself a used but in great condition axe. I did get my hands on a grinder. So, actually I'm only borrowing this one, but still. I am going to try to reshape this axe head a little bit. Uh, I've never done it before, so I'm just going to take my time and just do a little bit. Uh, I don't want to be too ambitious here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try my hand at the grinder, see how, see how it turns out. Just going to make my own workbench type thing. Drill this piece of wood onto the stump here. Should be sturdy enough. Okay, so it's just really simple. I'm gonna cut out this little chunk here. Give it a nice bearded look. Um, I'm not taking the handle off because it's just, it's in such good condition and it's put in so nicely. Look at that thick wedge. Um, so it might complicate things when I get around here, but we'll see. If I have to change it, I have to change it. I'm not too worried. Using this disc here, and I'm hoping it's the right one. Okay, I've cut this much so far. I'm just gonna take a break. This is getting pretty hot. I'm gonna let it cool down and uh, charge up the batteries. So I got the shape more or less. Now I'm just gonna use the file to fine tune it because it does need some work still. Okay, so after a long time filing, I finally got a shape that I'm happy with. So now that I got the shape, I want to put a little color on the handle. Now the handle is perfect, I really don't need to do anything to it, but I'm going to just use some really fine sandpaper and get this top layer off and then uh, I'm going to give it some color with a little bit of flame. Did a light sanding of the axe handle and now I am going to give it some color with some flame. Last time I used a little torch lighter. Uh, 
it took a long time to do and the torch lighter kind of broke when I was done with it. So this time I got myself a blow torch. So see how this goes. All right, it's all charred up. I tried to go darker at the top and kind of taper it off. Uh, I did a little, little bit of sanding and now I'm gonna put some linseed oil on it. The first layer should be a generous layer. And you're gonna to wanna to do like three layers, probably about 12 hours apart. This stuff is like magic for the grain. Look at that. Again, like I do with all my axes, not worried about this part because I'm gonna wrap it with some paracord. There we have it. It's still wet so it looks extra glossy and dark, but it should look something like this when it's dry. I'm gonna let this dry overnight, and then I'm gonna give this thing an edge, and then I'm gonna apply some more. And then when all that's dry, I'll put the paracord on. Got the handle done. Now I'm gonna sharpen the yak. All I'm gonna be using is this file here and a stone. Okay, I got the stone here. This is a, a coarse side and this is a, a finer side. I'm gonna start on this side here. And just right along the edge. I've never done this before, so I'm hoping I'm doing it right. Okay, I'm done sharpening. I used the stone and I got this thing razor sharp. Works really well. Okay, I got this thing all sharp. And now it's time for the paracord. Okay, this time we're gonna do it slightly different than I did the previous few times. I'm gonna put the loop right on the belly of the axe handle. Keeps the bulge out of the way and I think it helps protect the axe from overswing damage a little better. I think one of you guys actually gave me that suggestion. Let me try it out. Any success I've had getting it wrapped around a curved handle, kind of like this one, but this one's not so bad, is uh, keeping the paracord tight and constantly shimmying it down. Constantly adjusting as you go. That's, the, that's pretty much the only thing I've done to help mitigate the gaps that come with a curved handle. And I don't think you can get it perfect, but, uh, Get it close. Yeah, 
Yeah, these this one really isn't that bad. The curve's not too strong. The last one I did, it was a lot more annoying. Literally, every time I went around, I had to adjust it. But this time, it's, it's a little better. Just give it a yank. And then adjust it as you go. Nice and tight. Then you just cut off the loose ends. There we go. Nice and tight. Okay, here it is. Wouldn't call it a restoration, more of like a transformation, because it was perfectly fine before. My first experience with a grinder it was pretty cool. It was hard to get the angles right, but I'm sure with practice it gets better. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, check out some of my other videos. I got more axe videos, I got some camping videos, uh, and plenty more to come. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.